Hi everyone, Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at creating scalable UI designs. Now, we almost have done this at some point. We've created some amazing looking UI in Photoshop or GIMP. We've exported it into Unity and we found that the scaling is completely wrong. And when we try and fix that inside of Unity, we get all sorts of stretches and distortions and nothing looks nice. Well, we can fix that if when we're designing our UI elements, we think about it in a grid format. So let's just jump over and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now I'm going to be using a sprite for this. I'm going to be doing a pixel art design. And what we want, we want a 16 by 16 cell size and a grid of 3x3. Three three. So we can go ahead and create this. So we want 16x3. Help if I clicked in here. We want 16x3 and again 16x3. And we'll create this as a new canvas. So if we look at this grid, we can think of it as this top left would always be our top left most area of the UI element that this is attached to. Top right, bottom right, bottom left. Our left side, which we can either stretch or we can repeat going on and on up until we reach the end. And that's the same for our top, right and bottom. And then our centre square will be either, again, a stretchable or tileable texture for the entirety of the inside of the UI element. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a quick and easy pixel art UI design. We'll throw this into Unity. I'll show you where to set it up and I'll show you how useful this can be. So this is my finished UI design. If I just enable the grid here, you can see that I've kept all of my individual elements inside these 16 by 16 cells. So this I want as my topmost left side of any UI element, top right, bottom right, bottom left, and I want this to tile in between the top left and top right corners. So if we go ahead and save this out, we'll export this as a PNG file and we'll just call this border. We can pop over into Unity now and we can see we have our border. So we go ahead and create a panel in the UI section and we'll just size this down slightly, increase the opacity and then we'll drag and drop our border onto our image. And as we can see it looks absolutely terrible when it's not in its native aspect ratio. So where do we go about fixing this? Well, we can click on our border sprite in our project window, and there's a few things that we've got to set up here. So first of all, we want to set our pixels per unit to 16, because that was our base size. You may not have to do this if you're not running a pixel art design, I'd just suggest playing around with this and seeing what's right for you. Next up, we'll set filter mode to point no filter. Again, as you can see there, it clears up our pixel art, making it a lot more crisp. So if you're not using pixel art, you may not have to do that step. And I want to make sure that my compression is set to none because it's a very small image. It's not going to increase it that much and it just gives it that little bit more clarity. Now for the next part is where we split this one image up into a tileable texture. So we click on Sprite Editor. We need to apply that first. Now we're still going to keep this as a single image, but what we want to do, we want to drag in our corners and we want to put these down to our 16 by 16 grid size, like so. You could also just add in 16, 16, 16, and 16 to these four border parameters. And we'll go ahead and hit Apply. Now we won't notice any difference just yet, so what we need to do, we need to go over to our panel and change image type from simple to tiled. Now when I press this, you'll see exactly what this does. So now we can resize our panel 
and we can see that our corners stay exactly where we want them and the innermost edges tile and repeat to keep everything perfect and we can mess about with this pixels per unit if we set this to 2 we can then see it's much nicer sized we can size this up to just smaller than our window and everything scales like it needs to we could even do this for our buttons so if we just create a button change the background from UI sprite again to our border image type tiled and increase this a little bit more we'll say five on this one and then when we go ahead and scale our buttons we can see everything works just like it did before so I hope this was useful I hope this shows you how you can create very crisp perfect UI designs with very little effort if you've learned something today then drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel you can also find us over on social media for more bite-sized Unity and C-Sharp tips. I've been Mike for Comp3 Interactive, and I'll see you again soon.